The splitting of energy levels of an atom in an external field can be measured by the direct transition between energy levels called electron spin resonance, ESR, instead of a splitting in the emission lines, which is measured in the Zeeman effect. In ESR, the energy states of atoms are used in which the angular momentum can be neglected compared to the spin of the electron. This allows for the measurement of the Landé factor of the electron spin. The experimental setup comprises of a Helmholtz coil, a resonant circuit or LC circuit operating unit with its three resonant coils, the ESR operating unit, an oscilloscope and a sample. In this experiment, a magnetic field in the millitesla range is generated by the Helmholtz coil. The resulting resonance frequency can be generated using a resonance coil and the LC circuit operating unit. When resonance occurs, the energy is extracted from the LC circuit and the load on the LC circuit manifests as a change in impedance which can be measured by a change in the applied voltage. The two coils making up the Helmholtz coil have to be connected with each other and the ESR operating unit. The coils are placed at a distance of 6.8 cm from each other. Then the resonance coil, which is used for the frequency range, is inserted into the LC circuit operating unit. Next, the sample has to be inserted into the resonance coil and the whole setup placed in between the Helmholtz coil. Connect the LC operating unit with the ESR operating unit and then connect the latter with the oscilloscope. Turn the knob on the side of the LC operating unit to achieve maximum gain to get a clear signal. Set the resonance frequency to 20 MHz, set the modulation amplitude to the middle position and phase shift to 0 degrees. Adjust to resonance condition. With the oscilloscope in TY mode, view both signals and set the display on the ESR operating unit to A equals, so that the DC current flowing through the Helmholtz coil is shown. Set the current with the potentiometer I equals to a value at which the minima on the time axis are approximately the same distance apart. Select the modulation current as low as possible. With the oscilloscope in XY mode, adjust the phase shift so that both minima overlap in the X direction. We adjust the DC current through the Helmholtz coil so that the signal is symmetric. We now adjust the frequency in 5 MHz steps up to 125 MHz and readjust the coil current and note it down. The coil must be changed to higher frequencies. Only selected values are shown here as examples. Thank you.